Okay, in this video, you're going to um, just learn the basic prep for uh, laser cutting. And so what I wanted to show you, so creating stuff in Inkscape is one thing. It's another thing to get it actually prepared for the laser cutter. And so um, I, in this example here, I have uh, this just Creator Studio logo. And what you'll notice is that the area that you want to cut has to be inside your, um, your artboard. It has to be in this area here. So I've created this one here. And this, the, the intent here is to have this engraved onto the laser cutter. So the laser cutter will go back and forth and burn this into the wood. Um, so the way it looks right now works really well. But I have to tell this at some point to cut out something around this Creator Studio. Otherwise, it's just going to burn this into the wood and I won't have a piece to, to take home, for example. So the one thing you want to do is you want to create some border around the object that you're creating. Now, it could be, like in my case, just a rectangle or if you were making uh, you know, a circular keychain or something, then you'd want it to be a circle. But the, the, the point is that you have a, a border around your object and it's going to be in a different color. And I've told most students to use yellow because it is far from black in terms of the spectrum from light to dark. And the reason for that is when we get to the laser cutter, we're going to tell the laser cutter to cut yellow but engrave black. So burn the black into the wood but actually cut the wood when you see yellow. And then you might also do something like this, which is just adding an inner frame that you could also burn or engrave into the wood which kind of gives it a nice look. So the outside, the yellow, will actually be cut, whereas the inside will be burned in. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, and just on a, on a final note, uh, some a couple things to keep in mind. The border or whatever should be cut in yellow uh, should generally be one pixel in width, meaning not thick. It should be thin, just like you're seeing here. And if you can tell, if I click on this, I, I can look right here in the bottom left, I can see that the stroke of this rectangle is one. And that's usually the default that comes out um, from Inkscape anyway, but just keep that in mind. If, if it's really thick, you're going to get the laser going back and forth, back and forth, and it's going to burn the wood um, to the point where it's uh, it, it's not going to look good and it could potentially be dangerous. So you want the border to be uh, no thicker than one pixel. And then finally, um, when you're going to use a font like this uh, that may or may not be a font that everyone has, you're going to want to take the entire text and you're going to make object to path what we learned earlier. The reason for that is uh, it allows this, this particular font to turn into these things, right? So it's going to turn into uh, graphic art, not type. And uh, again, the, the reason for this is because the computer that we laser cut on may or may not have this font. And so by doing this, you're ensuring that it can cut this because it doesn't see it as font. It doesn't see it as type. It just sees it as pieces of art.